very small video. Right, I've come over to Hutton Village. Noticed the pub was getting ready for the easing up of restrictions in the not too distant future where people can sit outside at a distance in a marquee. They've got their little marquee up now or seg in segments and other little places where people can sit away from others. Um, to me though, those marquees are like incubators. I can't understand that at all, having everyone shut in it, under a bit of plastic, you know? I, to me, that is stupid. They'd be better off just having the roof on, opening up all the sides, and then cause it'd be really hot in there. So that's probably what they're going to do. Anyway, see that telegraph pole? Well, near there, there's an electric box. It's got a, a working meter in it. But there are power cables up here for telephone wires. But I discovered this little path about a week or so ago when I was on uh, the reverse walk. And it takes you up a, a track just over there. There's a, there is an actual track that goes up through the wood. It's very pretty. It runs parallel to this one. And because this has often been thick mud, I've used that last time. Another time I crept over the hill where I reckon there'll be loads of bluebells soon and went round the wood near the farm. So I have done a bit of exploring. But now I've got here, I've decided that I won't go that way. I might keep that for like the way down. It's very pretty and quiet. I thought, no, I'll go, I'll go up this way now. It's not looking too bad and I can stop. Uh, I got very out of breath a minute ago. Now, when I was at the doctor's, they did my blood pressure, pulse, temperature, oxygen levels. They took my blood for everything, vitamin D, white blood cells, red blood cells, vitamin D, yeah, and anything else. Anyway, my, my blood pressure was perfect, 130 over 70. My pulse was 70. My sats were 98. But I tell you, I still struggle to breathe. I've, I've I felt quite weak today, actually. Um, I'm very, very slow today. I actually feel tired. I've been well. The thing is, what it was, I took an antihistamine last night, which is always a bit fatal, really, if you're going out the next day because it knocks me out for 24 hours usually, and that's what I'm feeling like. It's only a mild one, but what it is, I react to certain things, and um, I just couldn't, my nose was irritated, I like rhinositis. It, it really was bad, um, and my nose kept running, I kept sneezing, and it went on for hours, in fact it was going on all day, I had enough of it. So by 8 o'clock last night, I took a mild antihistamine. But even the mild ones have a habit of knocking me out, see? They make me dopey the next day, and that's what I'm feeling like today, dopey. Oh, God, look at that big bird! Where is it gone? I think that might be a peregrine falcon. Or it's some sort of falcon anyway. I don't know if it's a peregrine. Just flew out. I've seen it before. It prunes its feathers here. I might have got a bit of it on the video. It's just up there. I might be able to catch it again in a minute. That woke me up. Great big wings. I don't know if it was a peregrine falcon, but it was a falcon of some sort. I've seen it here but I, I know it nests around here because there's feathers. Someone told me about it. It's around here somewhere. See, they do nest in these sort of trees, you know. They might look dead and, like, chaotic, these trees. But they actually serve a function. The birds like them. If I, if I creep very carefully, I doubt if I'll get it on the video. But I know he's landed not far from me. 
and they blend in very well with the they camouflage really well oh, I didn't see exactly where he went he was somewhere somewhere there he's on a branch watching me he's seen me coming and he flew through his branches by the time I got my camera organized oh, I think he's just flown off now I think he's just gone down behind the field It might have been another bird, but that was definitely some sort of hawk, falcon. I think it had a type of yellow beak. Yeah, you often see feathers here where they preen themselves. They say, saying, God, look at that old slow cow coming up the hill. Yeah, I am slow today for Hurricane Falcon. A hawk, sparrow, hawk, whatever you are, you were quite big. You even even looked owlish, the colouring. Oh. Ah, oh, there he is again. There he is again. I doubt if the camera would pick it up, though. I doubt if it would have picked it up. But I didn't have it on zoom, so it might have picked a distant bit of it up now this is easier going up and coming down believe me this is real dodgy slippery that's why I went the other way on the way yeah this is probably better than it's been for ages you know it's very slippery so I've got an alternative route I'm always going to use now going down I was going to go up it, but then I thought, no, it's probably better now. It's still quite slippery, actually. But I think you lean into the hill when you're going up. I want to stop on that ledge, the flat ledge, and have a look round. <sighs> yeah, I've had a lot of indigestion today. Oh, loads of indigestion I've had. <sighs> and it makes you feel like your stomach is tight full of air it's full of air oh I've just got to wait here a minute oh. oh yeah it definitely lives around here it likes it here if, this is probably its feeding ground you probably get lots of little small mammals rummaging around here oh my god yeah, I've got, I'm tight now, tight. It's not the heart, it's ah, stomach. It's, hear that? Oh, God. It will go, but then it can go, and then you think you've got rid of it, and it comes back again. I just set an arrow, and I think it just sparked it off. Like I said, I'm very, very slow today. Um, I think people wouldn't want to walk with me really because I am I have got a lot slower but there again I do like to video and take photos <sighs> remember I used to run jog do marathons half marathons swim I should have never stopped swimming you know I think that used to keep my back and my neck and all my joints well oiled swimming I haven't swam for years, over 20 years. Somebody coming. I'll just turn the video off a minute. All right, I just let a little family go by. A lady, she had all her makeup on, all her deodorant. Now, see this track here? That's a deer track. This is some new fencing they've put up. Because you used to be able to walk in there, see? This is all new, what they've done here. Now, the deer have been coming here for years. What they're having to do now is leap. They've got to leap over this fence now. Because they're still using it and they're going up that way. There was a bigger one further down without the barbed wire there. There is a gap down there. They'll soon learn to use the lower one. And they've had a little nibble at the bark there. See? A little nibble at the bark. Yeah, that's, well, I say it's new. It's, it's probably been there a year, that fence, but, um, or two. I mean, when I say new, I mean sort of, you know, the last couple of years. Uh, the deer can, the bigger deer can leap these fences easy. 
like I say, this is more dodgy going down this one. The softer roots around the other one, it's all leaves and soft and pretty. This has turned into a quagmire with more people walking it. This used to be such a quiet route, you know. Very narrow. I never used to meet anybody at all on it. In the past. Yes, normally where, where I would have come out, would have come out at this gate the same. But there's a circular walk around this hump that can be done. Which I only really explored recently. And which, if I ever come this way, is the way I'll go down in the future. It's quiet as well. I was going to come up it today, but I am very, very breathless today. Because my stomach is full of air. And it's pressing on my lungs and I can't actually get any air in my lungs to breathe properly it happens now and again I get that problem when that's not there I'm fine and it will eventually once I've had a glass of warm water it'll, the air will dissipate and I'll be able to breathe these, all these issues came on after the boat trip where I have 15 minutes of slam bang into a waves force my insides up under my ribs up under my diaphragm and uh, cause issues for many years many many years and um, for all sorts of organs bladder breathing even uh, something could have happened to my heart because it wasn't long afterwards I had to go and have all the scans done <sighs> But I am struggling a bit today, but I'm, I still make myself do it because basically once you stop your muscles waste and it's harder. I mean, I haven't done anywhere near the walking I normally do. I'm probably about 20 walks down because I can't get out where I normally go. I have been offered the use of a car, which is handy. They're going to put me on the insurance and I can use it if I want to go camping or anything. So that's handy, very handy. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'm just going to go a bit further up there by the golf course and I'm going to have some warm water out of my flask. Like I saw, I've seen a big hawk. The birds are singing, it's spring. The trees are still hanging on because apparently there's a cold spell coming towards the end of this week. It could do damage. Over and out, everyone. <laughs>